Hi again, welcome to my Green Top Nursery Hippie Settlement Tour. It's a box build because the layout didn't really allow for much else, but I hope you will enjoy what I did with it. This is really the only place where I could put the trading post and uh, yeah, it does get crowded. Green top has six cats in various colors. My vendors are almost never working, nor is my doctor for that matter, but uh, hey, they're hippies, so uh, what do you expect? I don't know what to say. This is Lazy Lou, one of several ghouls who clearly enjoys the freedom he has here. Two human children and a ghoul boy live here as well. We ain't got any handouts if that's what you want. I don't need anything. Excuse me, miss. Hmm. Since they are hippies, none of them bad, wear any huh? kind of regular armor, and there is no workbench here either. I wish I could make them not fight at all, but that's not possible, so they okay. will be regular killing machines when attacked. I'm afraid I had a radio playing static turned on, that you will now unfortunately have to put up with, because I yeah. only noticed when editing the video. Sorry. The settlers absolutely love cooking, so they have three well-stocked kitchens. That farm run by ghouls? Why, well, yes. There's In fact, my slug settlement is mm -hmm. almost done. Uh, Going to be a while hello. before I upload it, though. For giving us this opportunity. I built a second house with a sanctuary kit, pretending it was there all along. So this is a small third kitchen. My vendors sleep here. Yes, yes, that's right. Super mutants live here as well. Because this would be a true hippie settlement if they didn't accept super big scary green monsters, right? So I roleplayed at Stronghold Mice Nori, convinced them to join the settlement, and now they are one big green hairy slightly scary family. <coughs> You ain't been up to see Grey Garden. You should go. Ah, uh, yes, they have cool voices, but I don't mind. Uh -huh. This mod is called Super Mutant Workshop I mean, and comes work. with its own set of furniture. They brought a mutant hand who gets along so splendidly with the other two dogs that they are clustered around the same doghouse. Even though I built three of them. Getting a little crowded in here. Ain't looking for trouble. I hope. I won't be any trouble. This is the metal stargazer tent where they can sit and tell each other their camp dreams. Uh, these two green things are the super mutant and ghoul spawners that are part of super mutant workshop. This is the only outhouse for the entire settlement of 24 people, but it will have to do.
This is where they make their recreational drugs. The party bus never gets used, sadly. I have dance markers in there, but have never actually witnessed a settler go even near them. When I grow up, I'm gonna have my own farm and make other people do all the work. Sounds good to me. This is uh, the Church of Gnome. There are prey markers here, but nobody uses those either. The story behind it is that a few years back, one settler visited for harbor, and while he was high, had a run in with one of those creepy gnomes there. I know you know exactly what I mean. Scared him half to death. He almost drowned running away from it. And so he got really obsessed and started collecting them and praying to them so that they may spare his life. Uh, this guy here. Hey there, friend. We're in some real trouble. Maybe you can help. See, he's paranoid. The others started seeing gnomes in their dreams as well though, so they too started praying and this is how the little church of gnome was founded. We'll uh, just pretend that the Sean clone here is a real baby, okay? Here's where the founder of the church called Snow sleeps. He got that nickname for his drug habit, obviously. The people of this settlement, in good hippie fashion, share everything. Any piece of clothing not currently in use gets stored here. Anybody can pick up whatever they like, whenever they like. Uh, this is where the goon doctor and his wife sleep. He has a super professional desk to keep track of his patients, especially Snow. And no, he does not pray to the gnomes. Uh, hi there. That annoying sprinkler sound? It's uh, from the decontamination arcs above. Sorry, uh, I know it's annoying. See, Duck is not at work. This is where one of the goo ladies lives. She likes making fun of a situation. She wears the radioactive shorts, for example, and doesn't give a crap that many people think goos are disgusting abominations. I mean, she's been alive for over 200 years. That's not a bad deal at all to her. Last time what? I had clean fingernails. If you say so. Uh, sorry for all the backtracking. I was trying to capture my settlers doing all kinds of stuff, huh? but I never got them to all work at the same time. You know how it is. Ah, finally the veggies have grown back.
They all adore the cats, apparently. <laughs> they are, yeah, my favorite thing about the settlement, too. Thanks for the opportunity. One of my high tech greenhouses. Okay, no getting through here. Yeah. Oh, gotta go up the other side. Oh wow, Doc Sullivan is actually in his office today after all. Amazing. Not many doctors around these days. Nope, nor are you most of the time. And the second greenhouse for all the magic mushrooms they need to get through the apocalypse with a smile. Hi, how are you? Well enough. Bathrobe on the wall. Yep, this is Lazy Lou's room. The look at tree looks especially nice at night. A uh, quick tour of the lighting at night and who sleeps where. Word spreading all over the Commonwealth. The Minutemen are back. They've even set up a radio station to coordinate their efforts. Yeah? We'll see how long that lasts. You might not be happy to have them back, but I am. Ah yes, somebody's always standing on a roof. At least one of the kids goes to bed. Doc Sullivan's wife, Linda. What 
Why you take a night off? Hi. How's it going? While his wife is already in bed, the good doctor is working out after a hard day of doing nothing much at all. Yes, yes, that's right. Hey. Out here, we got to take things one day at a time. This is a trailer of Jenny and her ghoul boyfriend, Sylvester, who's currently bugging out. Settlers sleeping upright like this Can sometimes we trade a few things? started <clears throat> happening a while ago. Perhaps some kind of mod conflict. Just wanted to trade a few things. If I talk to them, they wake up and then go to bed again properly, so it's no big sure deal, did. just really weird. Excuse me, miss? Yeah? <laughs> Excuse me. Wish I could say I had half the guts you do. The glowing mushroom farm is dazzling even when you're not high. <clears throat> Another day of hard work. It never changes. Hmm. Late night talk inside the greenhouse. Hey, pal. I saw a death call once. It was far away, but I saw it. If you say so. Raiders don't scare me. Really? Super Mutant Smash is probably wondering if somebody noticed if he just ate them all right there. Another day at Green Top Nursery. Rise and shine, everyone. Yes. Hi. Hey. Lazy Lou enjoys cooking and likes to make breakfast for everyone. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Absolutely. Sheffield has finally found the perfect place. He used to live at the sanctuary, but didn't really fit in. This is Ruby Redstorm, the confident goo lady I mentioned earlier. Tough break. What just happened? Attacks happen a lot here, but often they aren't scripted settlement attacks, but turrets just firing at enemies kind of close by. In this case, the super mutant cam is actually quite a bit away, but these turrets have crazy range. My hippies look pretty professional, I gotta say. Excuse me, miss. Life's hard, but it's ours. Out in the open. It's payback time. Lazy Lou keeps this cracking me up. What a badass for a dude in a bathrobe going good. up against super mutants like We're that. Are you kidding me? The comment commentary is pretty funny. I absolutely recommend getting this mod. Shit, this isn't working. Time to die. I've got your back, Lou. You're going down. I don't have time for this. Quite a show. Awesome job, man, for real.
Hey there. New Coca-Cola is the only thing I can drink that wakes me up. Otherwise, it's all hazy. You expect me to believe that? Time for the usual fly cam action. I used a lot of solar panels. I still have a fusion reactor, but the solar panels have enough juice to light up the entire settlement. Put on your bathrobes and go green, Commonwealth! Too many bathrobe jokes? Okay, sorry. Uh, this rusted car couldn't scrap, so there's a hole in the wall. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this long showcase. Next one coming up is Markwater Construction Site, my full-blown super mutant settlement. See you then.